Hey everyone, Aninda here and today I'm going to show you Android 4.4.3 on uh, Samsung Galaxy Grand 1 or i9082. So guys, as you can see, the first thing I will show you that, see over here, the dual SIM is working now on this CM11 ROM. Alright, next I will show you uh, this ROM. So guys, this is uh, the Android 4.4.3, which is the latest and the greatest build by Android by Google. And over here, you can see that it's running Android 4.4.3, which is KitKat. Okay. And uh, this ROM has been developed by uh, Powit P by XGA of XGA developers and uh, i have a separate video on how to install this rom so if you are if you are interested on how to install this rom you can watch that video so on this video i'll show you uh, this rom so this is the main menu it's normal standard vanilla rom and uh, this is the dialer this is the new dialer Okay, and uh, here we get the uh, got the new contacts application as well. This is a camera. Let me just see if the video is working or not. Yeah guys, as you can see the video is working just fine. Let's just play it. Camera is working fine. Next, I'll see if the keyboard is working fine or not. Let's. Yeah, keyboard also working fine. We'll see the music player. Yeah, that's also working fine. Now uh, guys, I, I need to show you that how to change this dual sim thing. See over here we get uh, this multi sim option and once you go there, it says like uh, which sim you want to do voice calls and it says like uh, one, the first sim is using by, uh, is the Yattel one, selected that one, second is the idea, third is the prompt. If I select this prompt, then uh, once I dial the number, say like 111. And I call it asks for which sim I want to go for Airtel or idea if I select this Airtel and it will call uh, from Airtel and if I select the second sim it will call from the second sim as you can see that's pretty much easy and uh, next it will uh, says like which suppose you are using edge or 3g it's the data you want to select which option okay like airtel or idea next for sending normal sms there is the same and there is also a prompt button all right and uh, here it says like mobile network bluetooth normal stuff over here we get uh, this default messaging application selection Q 
here we can select the default launcher lock screen lock screen type all these things then we have uh, something called uh, themes over here where we have theme packs, styles, icons, fonts, wallpapers, long screen, boot animations, sound packs all those things next we get interface here we can uh, do some modification on the status bar this quick status all these things next uh, normal stuff display buttons all these things on storage by default we get 3.66 internal storage and we can also expand it via the external SD card by default these are the applications which gets installed as you can see there is none 320 MB is used up so these are the applications which we get by default and guys here we have the super user let me just show you that uh, the internet is also working means the Wi-Fi is also working fine or not we just go to GSM arena Yeah, I guess uh, the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi is not in range. Let's just connect. Connected. Let's try. Yeah, guys, as you can see, uh, the Wi-Fi is also working fine. By the way, uh, Galaxy Note 4 is coming with a 5.7 inch QHD screen. And over here we get the default uh, inter internet Android browser and we don't see any Google Chrome over here so if you want to install Google Chrome you need to add your Google account and and, and uh, you need to get it from Play Store all right so I'll just test this uh, ROM for a week now and after that I will come up with another review right how is the battery life how is everything is going on okay so this is a quick look on android 4.4.3 on samsung galaxy grand one and now you can use your dual sim as well so that's it for this video guys if you like this video then please click on like button and thanks for watching this is Onindo. take care oops i forgot to mention one last thing that is this is the file manager and this is the gallery gallery is working fine right okay and this is the apple music player as well oh and uh, google maps is also installed all right bye guys take care